Uh, Serene Shores, a perfect place for All Might to go on vacation. If only he wasn't looking for his ship parts. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to or welcome back to this episode of Pikmin 4. <laughs> it seems I have somebody across this planet's sea, or one of them at least. But where are the waves? It's so peaceful. I'll call this place Serene Shores. It will take you a while to explore this area with all this water. I'll need a proper strategy to find all my ship parts. <laughs> and off we go. Oops, I don't know why I decided to just <laughs> start out with moss just going like nowhere. But you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. And is that already a ship part over there? Well, first we're going to take care of this dude right here because I don't know how much trouble he's going to cause our Pikmin. And now we'll actually go towards it. Oh my gosh, I love those long dudes. <laughs> I love just seeing them just here. I don't know why they just, <laughs> just make me laugh so hard. You know, that might be an issue, but I want to see what's over this way, aside from this dude right here. It should be easy to take care of, and it was, thankfully. And I guess we'll just get the yellow picker to carry that dude. Oh, we got ourselves an onion down here. Cool beans, but then, is it going to be safe for them to actually carry it, or are they going to be- Oh, wait. It probably <laughs> it probably work on getting this done. And, ew, there's lots of crabs over there. I always said crabs. <laughs> I don't really know why. Now we move this base here because that's going to also make it a whole lot easier for us. And it poor little uh, was it a winged Pikmin? <laughs> the poor little blue Pikmin. You just kind of got yeeted there for like, no reason. But I'm glad you got this bridge out of the way. And see, he's but oh, I forgot to just actually straight up swim in this water. Or in this game, rather. <laughs> I just love seeing the pigmen swim. It's just, it's something so peaceful about that. And also, just really, really cute. Okay, so, we got all pig. Oh, I'm guessing it's because I brought a pigmen out. <laughs> yeah, that dude's not really doing anything to us. So, I wonder if that pearl right there is going to have a ship piece as well. Because that would be a very nice comeback to, well, pigmen one as well. I'm gonna send Moss off to <laughs> get the Pikmin that are apparently needing to be plucked, and then we'll move our way over there. So I have a sneaky suspicion that might be the case. But I also have to wonder at what point did the caves start spawning in here? Because, uh, well, there's clearly not any right now in this mode, which uh, it, it makes sense, because why would there need to be a cave? But at the same time, we know that his notes are. Like, going on all about caves. That is also spoiler. There's so much that we can actually see. That is a big Wally Wog. I love it. <laughs> and wham, there is a ship piece. And, ooh, in this game, I forgot that they actually just get eaten. But I'm glad that Moss was okay and she made it over here. And also the fact <laughs> that this enemy right here literally just falls her all the way there. And, yep, there is definitely a ship piece. Like, you can actually see what's inside of the whole pearls, or whatever that area would actually- the area, what that part would be. We can't go up there then. Oh, this is where- is okay, duh. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the blue pigmen can't reach up there, and then I look over and Moss is still carrying the little clam. I think this is absolutely adorable. We already know that those down, so we don't necessarily need Olimar to bring his notes there, just to be like, yeah, by the way, <laughs> we could do this. More blue Pikmin. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm also glad that Moss can swim. The only reason why I knew is because I saw her coming back with, uh, just, well, the yellow Pikmin. I almost said the treasure. And, ooh, okay. These poor little fish, but at the same time, I'm going to take care of these guys because, well, these two right here, they're just kind of sleeping and you don't necessarily care about the Pikmin. But these fish, on the other hand, they're just jerks. Like, they, they could just leave us alone. <laughs> We're also glad that there's more onions that we could gather. And also find it really funny how we actually beat Blossom and Arcadia, I think, last episode, or at least last Almer Shipwreck Adventure, or Tail, whatever you want to call it. And oh, it just automatically gave us some more pigment. Interesting. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> I was just pressing the wrong button. <laughs> but I like how it also just gave us some more blue Pikmin there. I don't know why that was the case, but... No, it's fine. We'll take it. So now, 
we can go over here. I'm glad that Moss can really stunt these guys because uh, I don't really want to get yeeted by a giant crab dude. Though I feel really bad for defeating them because I think they're just really cute. They don't really do much to us, but better safe than sorry. And this is not an explosive rock, so we'll get them to take care of that because they can just easily do that. And I think Moss will then take care of this Wallywog because the Wallywogs are terrifying and the Moss is really good at destroying them. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, a little uh, bell picker. Ooh, there's also another Frolic up there. Oh, it's still like garlic. <laughs> This is so close in the name. Now we'll just get these guys to take care of that. I don't really know if there's really a need to do it other than, you know, getting them all out of bubbles and stuff like that. But it doesn't really seem like it's too much of an issue, at least in terms of the Pikmin getting hurt, I don't know or not. There is a shit piece right here. Could you, my dear, please take care of this guy? Ow! That is very rude, Big Wallywog. Like, I know that you're getting attacked, and we're attacking you, but like, come on. <laughs> that was definitely not the best way to take care of that, but do you know it is fine. We at least have enough Pikmin to gather this, plus we also have Moss, which could then... You know, as soon as she's strong enough to carry that Wally Walk, as good as she is, and whoo! Good job, little babies. I'm so sorry about the trouble there. Now we we'll want to make sure that they can safely get across. Thank you, Wally Walk, for just kind of watching them and not really doing anything. I love how the giant one is just like, yeah, I'm going to like, squish all of you and get across hectic trouble. <laughs> and then the smaller ones are just like, what is happening here? <laughs> but I'm glad the, uh, the frog over here, or rather the onion, just gave us some more pigment, so hopefully they can make it at least into this line to get as close as possible. And at least we have the shit, the great moss carrying the really big volleyball. So two ship parts. I don't know where the last one is though. So here's idle alert because the least we could do is see if it's at least close to us. It's probably all the way on the other side, but you know what? Losing one Pikmin is losing one Pik- Oh, it's like right there. I feel so bad for it. Such is the Pikmin way sometimes. And also, we're back in such speckled terrace now because, well, we just got the radar for ship pieces. But also because, well, we've pretty much gotten halfway. We have seven. It's technically would be like 3.5 would be halfway, but you know what? It's fine. We'll go with it. And at this point, it's nice that Moss could actually go towards where the ship pieces are. Don't know why I'm necessarily going this way, but do it. I am. <laughs> go, Moss! Follow that scent! Oh, heck yeah. I love how she can actually go towards the ship piece. And, oh, I forgot that that part right there, or rather, that part, that area right there, doesn't actually have any water at this point. I don't know why that is, but... It is. Oh. oh, we haven't even gotten up here. Wow, there's a lot of things that we could still like, do. But first, we'll get that down. Wow, so she. There, there's another area there. There is no onions here, too, so it's nice that we could just simply focus on just getting all the treasures. So, honestly, I don't think at this point I'm going to try to bother switching where the, uh, the, the base is. <laughs> <laughs> because they're just so close together right now, unless there's like a treasure like, right up here. Which I know that there isn't, because the radar isn't going off. Oh, but the Mimut is up there. I love Mimusa. They are so cute. They're also like one of the very few enemies in here that are just docile. And I'm glad that we don't need to jump on a moss to get up here. Okay, that's just rude. I don't even know how it just hit the uh, Pikmin there, but do it. It is what it is. Now, these guys are probably safe as they just fall off. Okay, at least we know that there's nothing really up there aside from the Armored Cannon Beetle. <laughs> or uh, rather, Armored Cannon Beetle Larvae. <laughs> And yet, Red Little Spider. I do feel bad for defeating it, but at the same time, 
I don't trust the web. It kind of feels like there might be something up here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, well, actually, wow, okay, we've already been in this area too. So where the heck is the other ship part then? Oh, okay, by this puffer fish. Although we could probably just ignore that right now and just like, get that dude right there. So I want to know if you use idlers alert, if they'll just start automatically building the bridge. And can we get up here? So I'm pretty sure we can get up here without the bridge in the main story. Oh, just barely not. That sucks. But that's okay. At least we know, and you know, I'll pick one back over here. I guess that would be the reason to uh, move this base over here. Although they just stopped and didn't even try to bother getting this. Oh, okay. No, they are. It's just they were probably just over there. I don't know what was happening there. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I'm glad it didn't really cancel them doing that. Ooh, it's not a dude there. Lee's not doing anything though. We'll just keep it there. <laughs> Good job, little dudes. And now it's time to take care of this very easy dude. Because this. <laughs> I love but also kind of hate how they make these things so easy in this game. I like, don't mind like Pikmin 2, but like, my goodness, Pikmin 1, that one was just like, why are they making it so difficult to get that dude, especially in, I don't remember the last area, or the, the beach area rather. The last area to the final trial. <laughs> it's pretty easy to remember that name, but like, why is it so annoying? Oh. Sorry, boss. I didn't need for you to uh, to get that girl. Well, let's just let them keep. Oh, <laughs> boss, what was happening there? <laughs> I just saw this right here. I was going to assume that there was a ship part, which there was. <laughs> so sorry, my mood set is just moving out of the way. So we were going towards one. Oh, okay. I just decided to just completely ignore this side for whatever reason. So I'm guessing this probably also has one. If not, the least we could do is just get it out of the way. Of course, we see that the spider has one. Ooh, there's also a rope right there. Now, moment of truth, does it have a ship part? It does not. But that is okay. A poor little moss. So you didn't even realize he could get caught in the web and that, or at least at that point right there. I love how there's just one pigment that's just trying to get the best to like, get like, right up there. I wonder if we should try to get some of these berries. Probably not right now, because we're getting so close to actually getting it done. But the least we could do is get this rope out of the way, and of course, get this up. With one pigment that was just right <laughs> With one yellow pigment that apparently was just sitting right there. Oh, I see, we're just right on this side. So sorry boss, I'm going to have to keep you for just a second because this dude clearly really wants to get one of his pallet posies, which I don't play it because it was right there. <laughs> but also, rest in peace, the poor little pigment that didn't really deserve getting muted. <laughs> and now our last ship part, which is in another place that I'm surprised we just kind of ignored it till now. I don't think it was necessarily ignored, it was just probably a miss because I forgot that we had yellow pigmen over here just so early. Like there, it was two of them together, but at least after this, then it will be 100% complete. I don't know why that sentence right there was so hard to say, but no, it's fine. At least now, we could at least start gathering the, um, the, the, the berries up here. <laughs> I said it a little bit like, um... Porky Pig from Bugs Bunny, or Looting Tunes, rather. <laughs> and it came just in time. Also, I think it's really cute how the Pikmin just wait underneath until the berries actually grow back. It's just like, it really just shows how small they are, and they're just so cute. But now, of course, would be the time that we just kind of ignore it. And we can't go to the next area yet because we need to get 24 pieces. Well, at least it should be very easy to get that. And 80 Pikmin we have in our party. That is crazy. And you would think that, like, Moss could get up here. It's, it's just barely misses. It's funny, the ship feels like an extension of my own body part. It's funny, the ship feels like an extension to my own body. Perhaps a clunky arm? I need to fix it so we can skip together. I don't know why I find that to be so sweet, <laughs> but I mean, it also just makes sense because I'm sure that was probably his first and only ship that he's had so far in this game. 
I'm also glad that Wally Wong's body is just right there, ready to pick. It's like, didn't even change like, spots. I don't like that, like, one leaf thing. I don't know why it was so close when we dropped it in back in, I think, Giant's Thorn? I don't remember what that area is. But the fifth area in this game, make sure not to throw ourselves the uh, yellow Pikmin. That would be really awkward. So I want to take care of this, these fish because. I'm gonna build that bridge right there. Excuse me? What did this just try to eat? Okay. Thankfully, uh, the Pikmin took care of it. <laughs> Almost said, thankfully, the fish took care of it. <laughs> yes, it totally took care of itself. Uh, well, I also find it really hilarious how the Wally Wog babies just like yeet out of the pods and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like, why do they do that to themselves? Now, I'll move bases here because I don't know why I just didn't do that in the first place because it would have made it easier to like. Bring that bridge over there, but you know what? It's fine. So don't necessarily know where we're going to go, because uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> there's so many places that we can't explore. Is this dude going to be. Oh! This is a little crab dude! I love how he just kind of like, dig in and just shelter. Oh, I feel so bad when it blows this bubble, so. It's like, did it really want to like attack at that point? It was just trying to defend itself. I feel horrible. We're off by one material as well, which sucks, but you know what, that's okay. At least it, we made it. Oh yeah, we still see, we are out of raw material, but we'll be finding some more. Now I want to go towards this long like dude. I don't really remember what they're called, but I love them. <laughs> well, at least they're easy to take care of. Unfortunately, we lost some of our yellow Pikmin because I didn't really call them back. But at least we know that it's taken care of. And ooh, and just another ship part here. So just probably drop off just so we can take care of these fish here. Because just like that, trying to swoop after a Pikmin. Little jerk. I also find it interesting how the fish in this game decide to just really sink down instead of float up when they die. I'm guessing it's because it's so the blue Pikmin can actually grab it. But also, wow, this dude actually smart staying up high above. Although, yeah, it's just not going down for some reason. Like, you would think it would want to. And you'd think that the blue Pikmin would also want to try to carry the ship part. Not the ship part, I was looking at the ship part right there. I'd also think that it would want to try to attack it. Oh, I'm glad that all of our can just swim all the way up. It was really cool also seeing the captains being able to actually swim as well. You didn't even notice this little stinky dude over here. No, I was gonna say, Blue Pikmin, are you actually going to come towards me and be safe, or are you just going to stay there staring, <laughs> staring at that? I mean, I don't like blame you because you think like, there. Oh, that one little Pikmin is still waiting for the ship piece. And it's just so precious. I love it. Now we can take care of this dude at least a little bit more easily. As long as it actually tries to get out, though. I wonder if we can stun it. We can't, but at least it's really easy to take care of. And now, of course, we can get there more peacefully. So we do have enough pigment, and hopefully there's actually some materials around here. I'm gonna also go over- Oh, there's also another ship part right here. <laughs> I guess it's a, a good reason to get distracted towards the fish. Oh, okay. Did it just eat a pigment? I don't know. Or try to eat a Pikmin, rather. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Just, just gonna get this ship part up here and see if we have enough blue Pikmin to get the other ship part as well. And never mind, I saw this is not a ship part, it's a bubble area. <laughs> now, of course, we don't want to smash right into these guys because, well, A, it's not like to do anything right now, but also B, because I don't want to launch off the, uh, the yellow Pikmin. So you towards me, so you don't go after the frolic, which again, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it garlic. Close enough, <laughs> but also not really at the same time. These things are also really interesting looking. It just, I don't know, it's interesting evolution of fish. Now you're gonna get over here, because I don't know if it's gonna be a big guy or a small guy. Thankfully, it's just a small guy. And I'm glad that A, there's only one, but also B, that if they're attacking the shrimp dudes, I don't remember what they're called right now, that they won't just automatically get KO'd as soon as I break in the ground. But at least now we can get another onion. 
and I want to know what's up over this way. I'm going to assume the base is still going to be the same. It's just a matter of getting up there and see if there's a boss that's up there or not as well. Ooh, another frolic. So many of them. We're also glad because that means we can also get a lot too. Oh, oh, okay. Huh. I'm glad that it didn't just eat us. And I'm guessing there's going to be materials up over here, or rather in, in this plot. Oh! Okay! So is this going to be an emperor or one of the big guys? Either way, it's going to be pretty easy to take care of as long as it wants to try to eat the bonds. Unfortunately, it didn't, but at least it ate most of them. And that poor Pikmin that just got ye yeeted right off. Was that its tongue right beside it? I'm guessing that was yours. <laughs> no, oh, oh, it's a little piggy bag. I love that so much. <laughs> that makes me happy. It's the whole comeback, but also the fact it just, it just looks really cute as well. <laughs> okay, let's see if... Let's see this. I don't know why I said if we're going to get that ship piece right there. I was going to say if the little Pikmin that got washed off was going to be over here. Thankfully it was. So now one more frog and we'll be able to get 100 Pikmin, which is absolutely crazy. Whoa, now we have 20 ship pieces and I think we have like 11 days left now, or 7 days. Don't know why I thought 11. I just need to focus on the small wins I achieve every day. Add them all up, and they should be equal to successful escape. Heck yeah, Alamar, you will definitely get all the ship parts back. But first, we're gonna do nighttime mode, because we have two leaflings that we can still rescue over here. And this apparently is a new unlocked one, which I don't know why it's unlocked now, considering it's one of the easy ones. And oh, wow, okay. The Numiclo is actually really far away from... <laughs> From the uh, beagle. I almost said the dolphin because obviously we were just <laughs> doing all of our story. Honestly, one of my favorite modes. I just had it itching to actually like, play some more of that, so so I decided to just do that. And we are very close to actually beating that thing too. Work with Ochi for solid protection. I don't even have to actually read what she said there, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> we're just gonna gather all these. And get out she to protect the Uniqlo. Also, I'm here to know if we need to throw these guys up. Nope, we can't just throw them up. <laughs> I don't know why that's the case, but no, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, I love how we're also just getting some glow pick me down here too. So all y'all back with us. I'm also going to assume that the glow pick me can actually get flower. Yoni, there is pellets in the water. I'm surprised you just like asked that now. Considering you've seen us go into the water to get some quote pellets. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not really going to question the only thing. He just does what he does. Oh, no, I hate these jerks. I hate these, but I also love them. The sea are still really pretty, but ugh, they eat so fast in this game in comparison. Oh, no. Oh, she's in trouble. So this is one of these guys. They're, like, so easy to take care of. Which, and they also didn't actually do any damage to the Numico, which makes sense, because if they can't do any damage to a Pikmin, slash us, then why would they be able to do damage to the Numico? <laughs> Those little dudes are being stuck on the side there, I don't know why I find that so amusing. But also, again, like, why is a one fire or one star one being unlocked now? Like, you would have thought it would have been unlocked earlier, but I'm guessing it's because we, it, it was connected to the leak things and not so much the actual like, night mode itself. At least that's just what I have to guess. These guys are zooming. Now, these guys are actually more terrifying in this game because you, you can eat so quick. Like, if you're just not careful about that. I don't know why I feel like there's going to be another um, smoky prog here. I think it's just because it's a beach area, and it reminds me of its beachy home in Pikmin 1. But, easy peasy lemon meringue pie! And we got one mountain dew from that. I really like how you can actually see Blossom Acadia from here. 
<laughs> I don't know why I just noticed that you can see the, the the other parts of the game connected together. Because they're in, we know that it is. <laughs> because if you look at the map, they're all like, very close to each other. And we saved Ren from Inohi or Inohi. I don't really know how to say that. <laughs> but let's see if there's any other like one stars that just unlocked. <laughs> There wasn't. All that stuff now is four and five stars, and the very when the other three levels were also 100% complete. So that's really cool. Now I'm guessing there's probably going to be some progs in this level because I believe this would actually be the first area that it would be introduced in being nighttime. But yep, there's an egg right there. So probably take care of that and. Ugh. I don't like how these guys are around it protecting them. It's so gross. Yeah, I was just trying to get the egg and these guys have other plans. At least this one little dude just tried to take care of it though. It's like we're not the only ones. Okay, ooh. Oh, I'm glad we uh, got that done with. There's probably going to be another one around here though. Oh, oh, oh gee, I'm sorry. Didn't, didn't need for you to be the one to pick that up. I'm going to try not to make them destroy the Lumiclo. They're also... Okay, they're not ignoring it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they were closer than what it seems. Oh, it's these little guys. Okay, at least these guys are easy to take care of, but I'm still a little bit on edge because I don't know if we're going to get more. another pro. Spro oh, there is another proc here. <laughs> so that's probably going to be a little bit of an issue. I'm trying not to take my eyes off the Luma close, so we're going to get Ochi to go for two there then and hope that we can actually defeat the egg. Actually, we're going to take a little bit of a risk. Let's see if we can actually take it out with Ochi and these guys. Because the prog is terrifying. <laughs> like how it's just trying to like eat our Pikmin. Some of them unfortunately are probably going to be eaten, but at least we got a majority of them down though. There is a lot of little dudes. I don't know why I find them just so hilarious, right? <laughs> and, ow! It's like paint just like that, you little shirt. So it looks like is out oh, there's actually ones that are smart in avoiding. Although not, not that many unfortunately for them, but fortunate for us. What if I wouldn't let Bo Pikmin continue to actually like, get this? <laughs> oh well. Now we have icy dudes on us, which are still going to be easy to take care of. Oh, okay, so I like how the game actually warns us when these guys are coming by doing a little bit more of an intense music. Which way are you trying to go, mother dude? Oh, I love how these guys are also smaller than the regular dudes over here. Yeah, you're not going to do that to- Oh, didn't even realize I could also make it freeze. That's really cool. And this also looks like it's going to be the last enemy that's actually on the map, because I don't see any- I'm glad that in this game it at least shows around if there's going to be more or not. And it was! So, 4 star, that wasn't as bad as the last 4 star what we did. <laughs> Thank you, Only for saying that was fantastic. And that still only gave us 1, so I don't know if it was that 1 Lumicore that gave us 2 was just a 1 off, or maybe it was because it was full health. I'm not sure, but we rescued slash cured Boris, home planet Kudgyo, <laughs> or however you're supposed to say that. So that one was actually really fun, and I also feel like just doing one more, just because, why not, we could instantly cure at least one leafling doing so, unless we manage to have one that has two. That was the last one, so now it's just giant hearth and primordial thicket. Oh. This one's probably going to be a little bit tough, and I also like how this one was called the Abandoned Throne, or something like that. And now we're probably going to want to take care of these guys as well, because knowing these guys can also turn to- Wow! Let's say turn into, uh, enemies? That was a pers- Oh my goodness, it's a beady long leg! I love it! Well, I guess a baldy long leg, technically, but come on, it's basically as- Oh, she are you just going to stay there? Like, what are you trying to stiff or do, buddy? Come over here. Of course, we got this fast juice as well. Thankfully, Ochi was the one to take care of that, though. So. so the question is then, how hard is the long leg going to be to take care of? 
And can we stun it? We still can't stun it. Okay, that's good to know. Although that being said, it's still just watch you climb up there and not just target the main body for some reason. But, whew, okay. Now we'll just get Ochi to be the one to take care of the speedy boys because at least they only take like one damage, which is nice. Just want to know. Let's get yourself in a, a tough one. That's okay. I believe in Ochi. He's such a good boy. And there we go. So more low Pikmin the merrier to get this guy down, which just makes sense. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't decide to just bring more glow seed. And okay, there's also more speedy boys. Ooh. <laughs> Don't know why I find it so funny. It, it just looked like just karate shot. But that really wasn't as bad as expected. I'm glad it also gives a lot of time for the long way to take its way to approach the Lumiclo. That also makes sense why there wasn't any like the false or bait Lumi clothes as well to remember what they're called. But successful were one Mountain Dorito. By Mountain Mirito, <laughs> I mean Mountain 2. And we also got lots of glow pigments from that as well. <laughs> and since we didn't actually get to cure any leaf legs, it just started us back out to base automatically. But with that though, I think we shall leave it here in the next episode. We might continue on our shepherd tail because I have an itching for that. And it's very fun. We're also very close to actually finishing it off. I'm going to assume that the last one to unlock is going to be Eros Hideaway. <laughs> because, of course, that's where we found him. But I'm also curious to know if it would continue after that to the other two levels or not. Probably not, considering that was main story stuff. But we also might just do some more exploration as well because we got more leaf things. Plus, we got, I, I think it's yellow wally wogs is what Louie wants here. Let's see. The blah blah courtyard? I mean, okay, dude. I got you with the blah blah courtyard. Oh, Louie is such an interesting character. But yeah, anyways. With that, we shall leave it here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So, laugh that subscribe button and say something down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I will see you in the next video. This place is also absolutely beautiful. It feels like there's more flowers growing over here. But I don't want to get too distracted. So, peace. <laughs>